What impressed you most about Didi Gregorius today? Oh man, he did it all. Um, I told him when he went to his went to the ground with uh, the shields. I'm like, no, no, he can't go to the ground. And then he pulls it off, and I I just I think I left left the top of the dugout. He made some unbelievable plays all day. Obviously, a couple hits, big homer. Um, yeah, he's just a, he's a really good really good player. With John Carlos Stanton, he's been pretty consistent for a while now. Another home run for him. Do you look at him and think of last year and wonder, is he starting to feel that good at the plate that he can go on one of those types of runs? Yeah, I mean, look, as special as he is from a talent standpoint, you always know that he's capable of of uh, really special runs. I, I, you know, whether he goes on that kind of tear or whatever, we're just seeing a large body of work now that's been really consistent. And I just continue to be impressed with, um, you know, even if he doesn't have a great at bat, he, he kind of never gives an at bat away, you know, he's, and he's just been winning so many pitches over the, you know, last month or two that it just, it, he really is made, making the pitcher work. And, and when he's getting his mistakes, he's doing damage. With CC Sabathia, seven strikeouts this afternoon, 12, the outing before that, how is he keeping hitters so off balance? I mean, the, the, you know, the, I think the variance of the stuff, you know, from that cutter that he's that he's really done a good job of elevating in the strike zone. So he, you know, changes the eye level with that, and then also with the change up and the in the backdoor slider. And, and today, you know, you know, even when he was gotten into some trouble and labored in a couple of those innings, um, he was able to make a big pitch. It seemed like every time he needed it, and then uh, and then had a couple of really quick innings that that allowed him to go go back out there for the six so um just another a good effort by by c and and uh and a good way to you know uh finish off this series kenny to the left aaron you saw plenty of dd from the outside in your in your old job what mm -hmm. uh has found you found most interesting about being with him on the inside now um i think just kind of the there's just kind of a blue collar lunch pail you know he's he's tough you know he doesn't he's able to play through things um he's durable he's he's just he's just really steady he's he's kind of, he really is a go-to guy for us um you know as far especially with mendy you know we're, we're always mendy always moving guys around obviously and positioning he's just there's there's a calm about him there's a you know, I want the ball hit to him kind of feeling about him. Uh, but he's just such a, you know, he doesn't get too high or too low emotionally. He kind of brings the same attitude. There's a there's a way he goes about playing the game that I, I just have a lot of respect for. And he's just a really solid all-around player for us and, and, and certainly one of our leaders. Dan. Where does this uh, outing leave Sonny? Well, I mean, in a similar role, you know, um, you know, coming off of obviously a huge outing for us in Chicago, picking us up big time, getting that win for us. Um, you know, today was a little bit more of a struggle, um, but, you know, we got to turn the page from it, too. And, and he's got to, um, you know, be that guy we'll go to again in a long situation or if we need innings on a given day, he's still, uh, you know, going to fill that role and still you know, needs to be ready to fill a number of different roles because, you know, in, in that role, they come in different shapes and sizes, sort of. So many of his issues have been here. Mm -hmm. Do you have to factor that in when you consider using him? You know, I think I think you, you, that's part of what you take into consideration. Um, you know, I think any time, you know, every day is so different, you know, with um, between the score of the game, the opponent, the matchups, who you're trying to stay away from in the bullpen, so you don't always have that luxury. So, you know, his number very me may well come again on this home stand, and and you know, hopefully he can go out there and and replicate the guy we saw the last time out. George to the right, Aaron. Does that what Holder did make that a little more important, staying away from the rest of the bullpen? And what's better for him lately? From Holder. Holder, yeah. Um, yeah, it was, it, um, you know, because we were staying away from, from Dellen, uh, 
Chappie and, and Britton for sure. Uh, Robbie was going to be a, probably our closer today if we if we got in a closing situation. But in a perfect world, we, you know, we really wanted to stay away from from Robbie too. Um, I think with Holder, you know, he, he had a couple of hiccups there, but he's been so consistent for us this year. And I think the one thing he does really well is he pounds the strike zone, and there's kind of a fearlessness to which he goes about things out there. And um, today, I thought he had a really good changeup. Um, kind of following up his fastball that he worked up in the zone a little bit. Um, but he's a guy that has feel for three of his pitches, so it enables him to get righties and lefties out. But I think it's just more him getting back on track after a couple of hiccups there. And and we were able to, this time around, give him a little bit of rest. I think he was, you know, three days since he had last pitched, so a little more fresh, and, and, and thus he was able to give us a couple innings, which were big. Steve. There were early defensive concerns about Miguel that seemed to have, you know, been maybe an overreaction, but now it's been creeping up lately. Mm -hmm. Do you think it's, it's a little bit mental with him, too? Well, look, I, I mean, growing on, on the fly and at the big leagues, there's going to be growing pains and there's going to be, you know, tough stretches that you have that's you know that's part of it that's part of being a young player too and I feel like he's made so many strides you know I think just lately maybe just just laying back on some balls that are that are getting the best of them a little bit and and that's one of the real challenges of playing third base is right away reading how to attack the ball because if, if you if there's a little bit of you know, if you're a little indecisive, you know, those kind of plays can happen. And I think I think that's what's happened a little bit lately. Um, but we've also seen through this stretch him make a lot of really good plays, and I'm confident the work he continues to do, he'll continue to grow, and he'll continue to get better out there. Back right. Has it meant a little bit more that CeCe's turned into of his better starts in this stretch where you guys are asking a lot sort of of the entire staff? Ah. <sighs> Yes, I, I, I mean, look, he's a guy we count on. He's he's a really good pitcher still in this league. So, um, actually, I don't know if it's necessarily this stretch. We need these games are important. You know, we need our starters to go out there and and give us quality outings. And it's it's a few in a row now, or a couple in a row now for CC. When uh, you know, especially coming off the tough series in Boston, you know, we've. And as we're a little bit banged up, we're, you know, he, he's he's been a big part of helping us right the ship a little bit and be able to rack up some wins here.